What's up you guys, Transord to all of you with a new video and today we have the Avengers Shield Launcher Captain America from the Avengers line of figures. So looking at the figure in the packaging, you can see it's very nice, figure included. Shield Launcher Captain America. Launching Shield! Uh, nothing on the side. On the other side you can see the figure 10. And you see on the back, nice picture of Cap. Other figures in the line. You see, uh, what is that, Mark 7 armor? Uh, the uh, Reactron armor, Mark 6, and the Loki uh, Cosmic Spear all have gimmicks. Awesome. And then, nice picture of Cap and the Launching Shield, and want to read Cap's bio, you can. And then, so yeah. Let's go ahead and get the figure out of the packaging, and on with the review. So getting the figure out of the packaging, it comes with its Shield Launcher, that you can see, has the uh, Avengers logo on it. Focus. Um, hand. To put it on his hand and also peg on his back, which I'll show you later. And what to do is there's a little trigger right here. You just shoot it. And just shoots off like that. There's a little push gimmick and it just flips back right into clip. Like so. Like that. Uh, cool gimmick. Doesn't work as well as it should, but eh, whatever. They always come with uh, gimmicks. But the figure is actually very nice. I love the detail on this figure. Only complaints I have, uh, like every DC Universe figure or movie figure put out by Hasbro, it's going to have to be the paint apps. Um, see here, there's some on the silver on the boots, there's some uh, mispainting, um, paint bleeding into other parts of the figure. Just all around stuff, it's always happened. But I do like the way this figure looks. Uh, Go ahead and get a better angle. Uh, it comes with a gun, so you can see here. Focus. See there, which does not fit in his hand like it should, because you can see th hands doesn't have a trigger, so it just has to hold the gun like that, which w is with all the figures, but still minor gripe, which does fit in his holster right here, just like so, and then the shield. Very nice. I'm not going to take it off because it's kind of hard to take off. It's very nice. Uh, nice detail on it. Uh, some paint bleeding into uh, the red from the blue. So it's forth and it holds in together like that on the back. Just like the uh, first Avengers one does. But the articulation on this guy, he does have less articulation than um, a standard uh, DC Universe Hasbro figure. Head is a 360. Uh, arms 360. Um, bend out. Bend at the uh, elbow and 360 at the elbow. Um, no hand articulation, no ab crunch, no ab articulation whatsoever. Uh, feet go forward and back and off. Uh, whoa, whoa, that's weird. They're moving. Do you see that? They're moving simultaneously together. I don't know if that's just because it's a stiff joint, but it's only on this side too. Oh, that's weird. Well, that's something. I don't know. T tell me in the comments if you guys bought this figure and that's happened on yours. But yeah, it's cool, I guess. Yeah, in and out. Standard uh, weird joints. I think they, yeah, they move. Weird joints are something like Iron Man 2 figures. Uh, double jointed knees, which are very nice. And no feet articulation. But detail wise, I think this figure looks really cool. It looks just like uh, Cap would look in the film. I'm in love with the way these boots look. They look really awesome, and the costume looks really cool. Like, I overall like the design of the um, Captain America and Avengers. You can see the face. Focus. Face very nice. Uh, uh, when you pick this guy up in, in, on off shelves at stores, really look at the face. Uh, there's two at the place where I bought this figure. Um, and I had to look at them. Uh, the wings on the side look pretty cool. That looks pretty nice. But yeah, overall... This figure is very nice. Uh, picked this guy up at Target, not Target, Toys R Us, for, oops, for approximately $9.99, which is kind of steep for this figure, but also on Saturday I found this figure at Walmart for $8.93. Uh, uh, don't call me on that, but yeah, if you want to pick this guy, any of these figures up, make sure you go to a Walmart. Way cheaper, and they have a little bit more of a selection. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is Transworld 12. 
rolling out.